Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Series with Sayed. In today's episode, we will learn the logical functions of Excel. If function, OR function and the AND function. To follow along with me, make sure that you download this workbook using the link in the video description. We have three worksheets in this workbook. IF function, OR function and the AND function. I will be demonstrating on the same sheets and I request you to practice on the same sheets. I will be leaving some part of this calculation for you to practice. Let's the IF function in Excel is one of the most popular function when it comes to logical comparisons. Here you can run a test and if the test is succeeded that is if it is true then you can return a specific value and if the test fails that is if it returns false then you can return a certain value. Let us take a close look. In the C3 I am going to start typing in the function pressing equal to if I have this function if I select that using the mouse arrow and then press tab on the keyboard to complete the function. The first argument is a logical test. So my test will be if this value that is marks acquired is less than 35 assuming that 35 or less is a fail candidate. If it is less than 35 what should be returned? I want it to be failed. So I am going to return a text string under double quotations and if the logical test P3 is not less than 35 then the candidate should be listed as passed and I'm passing that in the double quotations. I close the bracket, press enter on the keyboard. You can see Harry is failed because he has got 32 marks. Now if I drag this down using the drag handle on the right hand side corner, you can see other candidates results are also calculated based on the condition that we have passed in the if function. Now let us take a look at the or function. In or function, we will run multiple logical tests. If any of the test is true it will return true if and only if all the results all the testing conditions are false only then it will return false otherwise the value will be returned as true let us take a look I will press equal to in the analysis column and press or on the keyboard now it is going to ask me logical test 1 logical 2 3 so on so in the first logical test what I'm going to pass is if b3 is less than 35 or c3 is less than 35 or d3 is less than 35 or E3 is less than 35. I close the bracket and press enter on the keyboard. Since none of the value is meeting the condition that is none of these are less than 35 it is giving me false. Now to calculate the other rows all I have to do is track this down and you can see it will start calculating. Here you can see one of the values is less than 35 and here this one is less than 35 and hence the result true. I hope this is clear. Now let us take a look at the AND function. The AND function is very clear. The name itself says AND. All the conditions should meet in order to succeed. That is if A is true and B is true and C is true then return true. Similarly if any given test fails it will return false. So let's take a close look. I'm going to start typing in AND under the analysis column and see if this is less than 35, C3 is less than 35 and D3 is less than 35 and E3 is less than 35. I would want all these conditions to meet in order to pass this test. If anyone fails, it will return false. So no condition is meeting here, hence the false. Now let us take a look at other values. None of them are passing the test. Hence, false. If I manually make some changes, say I make this 32 and this one as 28 and this one as 12, this will turn to true because all of these conditions are meeting. They are less than 35. I hope this is clear to you. Now, as a practice, I want you to do this. I am going to remove the functions that we just entered in AND function, OR function and also under the IF. I want you to do this again as a practice and under the OR function, I want you to get the result based on the analysis, whether the candidate passed or failed. And here also, I want you to do the same using the AND function. You can do it. You will have to use a combination of IF with OR and IF with AND. You can do it. 
trust me if you cannot do it don't forget to watch the next video where i will be using if function with a combination of and and or to show you some conditional scenarios how we can handle it using the combination of these functions using the nested function concept if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel and enable the notifications for continued learning thank you so much and you have a lovely day until next time